girl, I done used up all my energy in that last video. When I mean, I, I feel like I have nothing else to give, like mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, just I'm tapped out, girl. And I didn't even do anything in the gym, really. Treadmill, uh, did a couple leg exercises, but I just, ugh, girl, I need to reboot, girl. I need someone to give me the kiss of life, bitch, okay? Like, <sighs> I just feel so... <sighs> you know what it is, too? And I, I, that's what I hate about being an empath, because I end up absorbing and uh, assuming people around me emotions and the things that they go through. And, you know, it's just that... I have to learn to like separate that like to break away from that because sometimes I'll be feeling down and it ain't really anything that I got going on you feel me cute little white boy with dreads hello never thought I'd see the day that I would find a sexy white dreadhead I would love to have it in my repertoire though you know Ain't nothing wrong with have you know, I love that. I'm a collector of, you know, things. Hurry up, bitch. But anyway, like I just, and I think that's what it is a lot of times too, that I just need to learn to detach. Cause now I need a vacation. I need a vacation. I'm definitely taking one. Um, I think I have like five more days to use for my PTO this year. Um, I get 18 PTO days a year, so I think what I'm going to do uh, in January when everything restarts, I'm taking me like a week. I always take a week, but I, I barely, rarely ever do shit, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, more than likely take me a real vacation somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta start saving now. Let me start saving, girl, because I'm tired and I'm just, I need to just detach. I need my brain to recharge and get the fuck away from. <sighs> okay, girl, I'm not waiting on this train to finally get it together. No. Yeah, I'm just, oh, girl. But anyway, um, I have a, a video that I'm editing, girl. Y'all been asking, so, girl, I'm going to go ahead and accommodate, okay? I did a cute little cooking video. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you will know um, Sunday dinner was uh, Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans, Okay. Um, so what I did was I put together a cute little post prep type of video. Um, so it's much shorter, especially with the edits and things. I just have to finish editing and adding some voiceovers. And um, hopefully that'll be done tonight when I'm at work and I'll have it ready for y'all the next day. It's like under two minutes. So I'll probably post it to TikTok, Instagram and add it to, um, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Um, but yeah, I, 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 that should be ready for y'all by tomorrow. <sighs> I like the way it came out. The only thing I don't like is the lighting is trash. It was like a last minute thing. So, I mean, it, it's good enough. It's, it's not, this ain't the Food Network, bitch. You know what I mean? But, um, a lot of people have been asking me for some cooking videos. So, there y'all go. And now that I see that it's easier to do it this way, um, I might go ahead and, and do more of them. Because this is so much easier than me trying to record the whole process. And I go ahead and just knock out my prep. 
you know, get everything together first and then just show y'all snippets of the process. Give you a cute, you know, like voiceover and some, you know, captions and stuff so you can, you know, be guided through what's what's taking place, girl. So now that I have <laughs> done that, y'all might actually get more of those types of videos. I made uh, steak, red beans and rice, and um, what was the side that I made? Oh, uh, sweet corn on the cob yesterday, but I didn't record that. I was trying to hurry up, girl, and <laughs> cook and get that out the way. Definitely gonna give y'all more of that. Um, I I mentioned the round table a couple videos ago and I didn't really expound on like what's going on right now with that. As of right now, like I I'm good. I don't plan on doing any panels right now. I, I don't even go live right now. I just don't I'm just not there yet. So that's, that's postponed until, you know, I'm able to reconcile a lot of the shit that's going on in my life. Turning signal, bitch. Girl, I'm hungry. Let me tell y'all something. I have eaten so much chicken in the past month. I wouldn't be surprised if I turned into a chicken. There's just so many different ways to do chicken. Where you feel almost fucked up and bad about craving chicken. Haven't you had enough chicken? Like, all I want right now is fried chicken from Bud's. I'm not doing Popeye's no more. Let me tell y'all something. Every Popeye's I go to is always a problem. It's always a problem, girl, and I'm over it. I am over Popeyes, girl. The ghetto trash that they are, girl, and ain't nobody going to KFC. Those expensive ass bitches, you would have thought, girl, farm the table. They killed the chicken, plucked the chicken, did all the things to the chicken in the back of the store. You would have just thought, oh, wow, you're a beautiful man. Ooh, yes, nigga. I ain't been on this side of town in a while, girl. I forgot about the trade, girl. They be out, honey, okay? Yes, girl. I did say I needed the kiss of life. <laughs> sure, maybe the dick of life. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't come over here like that no more, girl. <clears throat> Not because I don't want to, because I have no need. But, um, yeah, I just, I'm craving chicken for some weird reason. I'm kind of over seafood. Is it, is it crazy now that it just seems like food is not fooding anymore? Like, I try to take something light with me to work, and it's always normally fruit. I'm always buying grapes, watermelon, um, all the berries you can think of. Like, I love that shit, right? Especially for work. <clears throat> and fruit just makes me feel good altogether. I just love eating fruit. And like the other day, I'm packing up my fruit packs, girl. Hello, my watermelon, my grapes, my kiwi, my raspberries, you know, all the things, girl, my blueberries. I go to lay them in the bowl. So, you know, you gotta wash your fruit, girl. You know, you gotta clean your fruit off, child. Produce, like even meat, girl. Like the only meat I don't wash is if it's ground. If it's ground meat, I ain't finna wash that. But girl, like I wash all my food before I prep it and cook it and all the things I eat it. And um, I put everything in this bowl and I let it sit to wash. Tell me why when I went to go, you know, rinse everything off, I noticed the raspberries are gone. And then I see this little like sluggish material little pieces of sluggish material in the bowl. And I'm just, I, at first I'm like, okay, some of the fruit might've been rotted or some shit. No girl, guess what? That was the raspberries. 
they had completely dissipated, disappeared, like whatever. I don't know, like, I was like, hold on, bitch, what? And they were supposed to be organic. And then as I was going through the strawberries, I bought, I got two things of strawberries. I love strawberries, you know, I do love them. But I don't buy them often because every time I do, what happens is what I had just experienced. All my straw, damn near all my strawberries, I ended up having to throw away. In the store, they looked good. And this is like next day. Like I, you know, get home, child, and put everything in the fridge. And then like that night or that next day, I wash all my fruit and then I pack it up. Girl, I tell you, all the strawberries damn near were fucked. The raspberries disappeared into thin motherfucking air, bitch. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, hold on, what is going on here? And this is like... I've experienced this a couple of times this year. Watermelon, I've kind of given up on. I love watermelon. Watermelon is actually my favorite fruit, if you guys must know. I love, 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 love watermelon. But girl, you can't find a good one to save your life these days. Either they're not sweet, either they old, damaged, and then lately I've been seeing the ones from Walmart. I, I bought a couple from Walmart, girl. And when I tell you no lie, like it don't even feel real. It feels like flesh. And then I'm looking around like watermelons were just like $10,000 a piece recently. Now all of a sudden they $6, $4, $3. They're on sale, buy one, get one. Why? Oh, I see why. Because you 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 trying to get rid of that trash job and peddling. So we got to make some type of dollar from it. Mm. I'm hungry, girl. Like I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten shit all day today. I told y'all I came home from work, girl. I dropped down on, on that bed. I woke up at three. Well, 2.30, really. And been up ever since. On my way to go pick up my nephew from football practice. Maybe we'll grab something on the way home. Because I have leftovers. I just don't feel like eating the leftovers. Because that steak, that steak, rice and beans, and motherfucking, um... Corn on the cob was good as fuck. Like, I had two plates yesterday. That shit was so good. I still have enough left over for two more plates. But my nephew doesn't like leftovers. And I don't mind leftovers. But I try... Like, if I have a taste for something different, like... You know? I have a girl. Let me just go ahead and get that out of the way. But sometimes, girl, you know, it's like... Mm -mm trying to spend no money if I got food already, you know. All I gotta do is heat it up. Girl, if y'all don't hurry up with this turn, girl. I am so hungry. But then I be thinking, I don't really like a bunch of fried food either. I don't fry food like that at my house like that's why sometimes I don't feel bad like and I don't eat out a lot like that anymore either so that's why I don't feel bad just you know going to Bud's real quick and getting a chicken dinner or like I said I stay away from Popeye's ghetto ass because I just never have a good experience going to Popeye's I always end up leaving there cussing someone out and then what kills me is you sell chicken. That is your main thing. Popeye's chicken, right? That's y'all thing. How do you run out of chicken? How is it that you seem to run out of everything that I want that day? Because I'm not one of those people. I don't crave Popeye's. I just be craving fried chicken. And, you know, in my opinion, um, KFC is okay. But like I said, girl, an arm and a leg literally to, to buy them now. I go to the, the hood spots. We got this place called Hooks. They have a six-piece wing, girl. Them things are so good for like eleven dollars. 
they give you a bunch of fries, but I don't be wanting all that fried food. I want mine like fried chicken, but give me some rice or seafood salad on the side. You know what I mean? love observing beautiful people that doesn't mean i want to fuck you or anything that just means i just admi i love to admire beauty girl you know for those of you that are just beautiful and people just be looking at y'all you know don't be feeling like you're being disrespected or anything just bask in the ambience of of the of the knowing girl that you are the tea you know don't 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 be offended honey when you're getting the looks. <clears throat> you know? Girl, what's up with all this traffic? What's going on? I ain't got time for that. I'm be wondering, like, what the fuck y'all really waiting on? Go ahead, honey. I'm gonna let you go. I'm, I'm gonna be nice for right now. But not everybody else can come after you. I'm not that nice. We'll do one at a time. And if the person behind me don't let that person go, then that's all motherfucking them. Do y'all think that pretty privilege exists? I certainly do. I believe that people that are beautiful or at least considered beautiful in the eyes of you know society i believe they beautiful people get a pass i believe that beautiful people can get away with shit ugly people can and i think that's a crime even though i perpetuate that same foolishness that's the only reason i let this dude go he's fine as hell he's driving a charger girl okay he just cute but if that was an ugly ass troll looking nigga Hell no, nah, bitch. I probably would have just kept going and not even acknowledged his motherfucking ass. <clears throat> and it makes me think about that on a deeper level. Like, there's, I believe pretty, pretty privilege exists. Especially with women when it comes to men. I think pretty women can get away with a lot of shit that an ugly bitch couldn't. But then again, I think there's something called ugly privilege. You know, when, when you don't look appealing, people don't even pay attention to you. So you can get away with some shit. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There's good even in what would be considered the bad. And pr all pretty privilege does is make ugly people wish death upon pretty people. There's a lot of hateration, jealousy that's attached to that as well. <clears throat> Whether folks like to admit it or not. Because mm. think about it. Like, I feel like... A, and then your money, too, has a lot to do with it. But then who, again, would know that you have money if you're not announcing it? I feel like that's what makes ugly, like, you know, the people of the world that are not as pleasing to the eye. That's what turns them into assholes when they finally get a little money or something. They really, you know, they got that big chest now. But, girl, when you was a young warthog, bitch, you didn't get nothing. And you was, you was crying in the corners of life. Oh, now you got a little bit of money. You know, the hoes want to fuck on you then, you know, people want to fuck with you then. And I think that's just fucked up, too, because if just like Mike Jones used to say, girl, back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. You all on me like you didn't want me when I was broke, disgusted. I looked a mess walking around here with ketchup stains on my shirt and, you know, holes in my socks. <clears throat> I'm out here looking like a Bane Sting bear. But now I got a little money. My looks really haven't changed that much. But we all know that money. Remember the rule of thumb. Shout out the Kardashians. You are not ugly, bitch. You're just poor. <laughs> you know? Look at all the black people from back then and look at them now. The ones who, who done came up, like Jamie Foxx. 
That bitch was dark as fuck back then. Dark. Tashina Arnold. Hello, Martin. Look at, look at a lot of the people from back in the day, especially in black sitcoms. Look at a lot of those people today. They light-skinned as a motherfucker. They pretty now. They wasn't all that appealing back then, but now they all light-skinned. They done chemical peeled the fuck out of their own goddamn skin, oh, girl. That's a shame, too, because the standards of beauty are just ever-changing, but when people tell you that that when colorism, like OG, we talk about from Basketball Wives, girl, hello, God, you know, we, we, there's a lot of trash coming out of that world when it came to have the conversation about the standards of beauty and colorism and, you know, or women look, look, having masculine um, physical characteristics and qualities and things like there's just, ooh, girl, like. That's really why I don't blame the aliens for just, girl, like, should we just leave these people alone? They just so ratchet and disgusting and disturbing. Think about it. Human existence, we don't really care about the bigger picture. We care about the small picture. We don't ever really care about the bigger things. It's always about the being self-conscious of looks and, and, and perception. Those things don't drive humanity in the right direction. Girl, like, what's going on, man? I'm tired of sitting. I don't like sitting too long if I feel like there's there's no need for that. The fuck y'all got going on today, man? Oh, and Wendy's is just a no for me. I stopped fucking with Wendy's because, like, I don't know what's going on. Wendy's done. Mm -mm. I've been left Taco Bell alone, girl. Like, I can't do none of that shit no more. I can't do none of that no more. I'd rather get a sandwich from the gas station than to fuck around with Taco Bell and Wendy's, girl. And Burger King, I done left them alone completely. I haven't been over there in a long time. Come on, honey. What are you waiting on? Let's go. Shit. What are y'all waiting on, man? I'm eating that light, girl. I don't give a fuck about fire rescue or any of that shit. Y'all hoes wasted a whole fucking life with your, with your depravity. That's the wrong word. I didn't mean that word, but your foolishness. Let's just use foolishness. Foolishness can be used to describe damn near anything, girl. That's how I feel. Shit. Hurry up with this utility truck that you got. Girl, what are you waiting for? Go! Stupid ass housewife looking bitch. Yeah, go, nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all, man. Fucking Botox Barbie over here. Get your shit together, ho. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Be blessed and never stressed. Have a wonderful day, y'all. And remember that health is truly wealth. Bye.